Traders with Donna. And today I'm sharing with you my latest Trader Joe's haul. Two big bags plus a little extra and a case of water for Sam, as we always do. Um, I went back. I usually don't go back twice in a month, but I did this time because there were some new holiday items I really wanted to get and share with you um, that I'm gonna uh, put out for company and everything this season. So I'm really excited. <laughs> okay, so first I'm gonna start with these beautiful holiday flowers I got. I just love flowers and I like um, I like to keep them in the house when I can. I usually have high branches, but at holiday time I get different ones. And this is a pretty bouquet and uh, it was only $12.98 for this whole bouquet. So that's a good deal. I'm gonna put that aside. And then we got these mystery bags. Now these mystery bags have retired um, reusable bags from Trader Joe's around the country. So you don't know what you're gonna get. So we're gonna open them and see what we got. I got two packs, so let's see what we got. So it says here, no peeking. <laughs> I love the artwork, it's hilarious. Okay, so let's see. Can we get it open? Yep. And each contains two bags. Let's see what we got. Oh no, I've got three in this one. Oh, the birthplace of aviation. Follow us, Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's, the Buckeye State. Well, there you go. So, Ohio. Here we go. We got Ohio. That's fun. Uh, Richard has relatives in Ohio, so that's really cool. And then we have a look for my Philly friends. My Pennsylvania friends, Philly. We got Philadelphia and then we got pretzels and all the icons on the back. Um, brotherly love, of course, and the Liberty Bell and all kinds of stuff. I think there's beer on there, which is funny. Parking meters. We all know parking so much fun in Philadelphia. <laughs> and then we've got, where is this? I'm not sure where this one is. It looks like maybe Chicago. I don't know. Um, Massachusetts. It's Massachusetts. Oh, shame on me for being from New England. Okay, I, was, I think it's Faneuil Hall. So I knew because of this sign and of course the lobster boil and the beach. So this sign gave it away for me. <laughs> so I got Massachusetts, Philadelphia, and I got um, the Buckeye State, Ohio. So yay. Now we have another one. So we'll see what we get in this bag. These are just so much fun. It's like, you know, an unboxing almost. Okay. Here we go. And I guess people have been buying them in the store and then using the reusable bags, but I use my cooler bag, so I didn't open them in the store. All right. So now we have, let's see. Um, I think this is, yep, I know Nashville. There you go. And you got the guitar and the music city on, on one side there. That's what that said. And then we have the, um, you know, the Opry and uh, chickens and flames. I'm not sure what the flames represent, but I'm not that familiar with Tennessee. Um, unfortunately, I'd like to go there sometime. Okay, so this one's Utah. And Utah, I don't know if you know, it's like, their state food is like jello. So there's a jello mold. And then of course the red rock arches and the, the dinosaurs and all of that. And the National Park, of course, is there. And the 45th State, it's Rocky Mountain Elk is on there. We've got everything. So that's pretty cool. And then the last one says reusable bag. Just doesn't say, but let's guess. Um, it's got corn on it. Maybe Iowa? It says Trader Joe's planting trees is the bee's knees. It's either Iowa, Indiana, somewhere that grows corn. I'm not 100% sure on this, let me see. Oh, wait a minute, Husker State. I've also lived here, I should be ashamed of myself. <laughs> Nebraska, 
Nebraska, the Husker State. So somewhere on the bag, it should say where it's from. And it was on a different place on each bag, which is funny. So yeah, these are really cool and fun to collect. And you can use them to, you know, cart your groceries around and things. So they're reusable. Um, they have that nice uh, wipeable finish. So they're not cloth, so you can wipe them down and clean them. Um, so they're really nice and sturdy. I love them. So now I've got six of those, so that's fun. All right, so let's get into our grocery haul, shall we? But those were put out for the holiday season. I don't know if they, I've never seen them there before um, put out, so I don't know if it's just for holiday season or if they do it several times throughout the year, but it was my first time seeing them and people were snatching them up. So I was like, I'm gonna get a couple and see what we get. And it was fun, because those were some of the places I've lived in, so that's cool. All right, starting off, I got the apple cranberry tarts. Now these freeze beautifully and I'm gonna freeze them because we just had Thanksgiving and we're so full. <laughs> we are so full. We had a very busy and very filling Thanksgiving weekend with lots of friends and family. So these are going in the freezer, but I wanted to grab them while I could because I know they're not gonna be there um, and I'm not probably gonna go back before the first of the year. So this is like my last Trader Joe's haul for the year, I think unless something really super duper comes up. But yeah, so apple cranberry tarts, they're 490 calories in one tart, but look guys, they're pretty big. They're generously sized. Um, Richard and I would probably split one. I don't think we'd eat a whole one at a serving uh, at a time, but yeah. So, you know, it's a tart, it's got sugar, it's got carbs. It is what it is. <laughs> you can't do anything about that really. Now these are very interesting. I wanna put these on my char uh, charcuterie board when I have, um, Christmas karaoke, uh, and it's these are stolen crisps, and uh, it's a crispy and sweet cracker inspired by German the German holiday bread with raisins, powdered sugar, orange, and lemon peels, and I think this would pair lovely with all different kinds of cheeses and dips and spreads and things. So um, I'm gonna be really happy to see uh, put these out and see what my friends think of them. Hopefully they like them. And we will be trying these in the um, holiday taste of, which I haven't filmed yet, but we will know because I was waiting to see if anything else came out and it did. <laughs> but yeah, those are going to be great. Then I just got, um, now you don't, I, you don't usually see me get things like the bags and things that aren't food, um, but I did see this really nice uh, foaming peppermint scented hand soap, and I love, you guys know I love peppermint. It was only $2.99 or $2, no, $2.29, I'm sorry, $2.29 for this. And um, yeah, I thought it was a good deal. Uh, foaming hand soap is really nice and it lasts a long time. And um, it doesn't say, if, it says essential oils are in there, but I don't know which ones. I'm guessing peppermint. That would be the obvious, right? <laughs> so there's that. Let's see. Oh, and then we always bring one extra water to the front because they never have the cases. The store's too small, so they don't have the cases of water out. So I have to take one of the bottles and ask the cashier to be so kind as to get a whole case of these waters for Sam. So we got this plus the case. Uh, so there's that. Those are her electrolyte waters, which she needs because she walks around the parks all the time. And, uses lots of energy and with her running and all of that. Okay, so then I got a bunch of um, just sweet onions and they look lovely. So I got those, I got four of those. I didn't do too much produce because we're out and about at holiday time. Uh, Richard's going to Missouri later this week to see his grandbaby. And uh, so we won't really be home and we have friends in town that we're having dinner with so we won't be home to be cooking that much. So I didn't get too many fresh uh, perishables like um, you know vegetables and fruits this time around. But I did get a couple and that was one, the onion. And then I got this uh, cranberry butter cookie which looks so yummy. It's just like a little shortbread with some cranberry uh, in it. And it, it just looks delightful. And again, fun to put out for my friends. I love putting festive and you know things geared towards the holidays out and sharing with them. Now these are fun. Um, these are gonna be a lot of fun and I hope these rest of them don't fall, but I got several things. Not alcoholic, because you guys know I'm a teetotaler. I do not drink, never have drank, don't like to drink. It just doesn't do anything for me. But um, I did find this sparkling tea and they have rose and white. And I'm so curious to see what this tastes like. I got the Blanc 
the white. Um, if I like it, I might go back and try to find the rosé. These were a little pricey though. These were $8.99 each. I only got one. Uh, that's why I chose the white because I figured, well, you know, it, it's a lighter taste. It's tea. Um, also, if it spills, it probably won't stain as much as the red. <laughs> so you know how those things go. But I'm going to put this over here so it's a little bit safer. I'm going to break anything because that would not be good. Then I got two of these. Now this is going to be so fun. I got two because I want to share some with my friends um, for Christmas karaoke and whatnot. But this is um, non-alcoholic as well. It's sugar plum sparkling beverage. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? It's just so, I don't know. It just reminds me of like the Nutcracker and the Sugar Plum Fairy and all of that. It says it's plum and white grape juice beverage from Concentrate. Now this one I can tell you is, is of a purplish hue. It's so pretty though. <laughs> Hopefully no one spills on the carpet, but um, mostly we'll be on the tile. So it should all be good. And I don't think my friends will spill anything. We're not really spillers too much. But yeah, so I got two of these and I'm excited to see what everyone thinks. It sounds delicious. So, all right. Then I got, you guys know, I love my coconut almonds. I picked up another bag because I was out. Um, I hadn't gotten them in a while because I had gotten the maple ones instead, which I didn't like as much as I like the coconut. The maple flavor was there, but it was very subtle and it was more uh, just like a plain nut other than like, I thought it was gonna be like a sweeter kind of like nut, almost like, you know, when you get the cinnamon coated ones with the sugar and all that, it's really good. That's what these are like with the coconut. Um, the maple was more like a savory nut with like it was smoked in maple, if you know what I mean, like maple wood maybe. Um, so I didn't get that much out of those and I probably wouldn't get those again, but these are my staple. Those are my go-to. All right, and then I picked up because I had, my niece was in town last week with her family uh, just before Thanksgiving and um, I made kibbe, which is a Syrian, Lebanese, Middle Eastern dish. Um, I equate it to a meatloaf. It's our version of a meatloaf. <laughs> it's layered. Um, there's like two layer, uh, two layers of uncooked meat that you, you're gonna bake. But then it's stuffed with a cooked meat mixture in the center with pine nuts or pignoli nuts. I mean, they call them all different things, but um, here you go. But I like to get the toasted already. It saves me a step. They also have the raw, but I like to keep the toasted because they're all ready to go. Um, so these go in my kid bath and other Middle Eastern dishes. So I love them. They're so good. All right. And then I found this really nice uh, snack mix that I'm going to put on our charcuterie board. Our charcuterie board is going to be rocking. I mean, <laughs> we're going to have to have a couple of them, I think, because we got a lot of stuff for them. But I'm so excited. I can't wait for it. All right. So this is called the Step Up to the Snack Mix, Snack Bar Mix. Step Up to the Snack Bar Mix. They always have these catchy names, but I can never say them right because that's me. <laughs> it says, it is a snack mix with honey mustard pretzel pieces, honey mustard peanuts, corn chips with flax seeds, cheddar cheese rocket crackers, honey roasted sesame sticks, and chili lemon corn sticks. Now, who wouldn't love that? They also had another one that was a spicy mix. We're not spice fan, like heat spice in this family. Um, it had jalapenos in like every component. So I was like, yeah, no. Um, so this is more our speed, but yeah, I think it's gonna be delicious and I can't wait to try it. And we'll probably try a little bit of this on the taste of the holidays. So I'm hoping to film that later uh, today, maybe, hopefully, if it's in. <laughs> Okay, this is the last of this first bag. And we've got this, this is a staple. I get this at Trader Joe's every year, Jingle Jangle Mix. And it's essentially a mix of all their top selling uh, and most popular candies and snacks and things. Um, it says a fun mix of fan favorite candy treats. So, okay, there you go. Um, I can't say all the things that are in here. Oh, maybe I can, it's on the side, sorry. There it is. Okay, so we have milk chocolate candies, which is kind of like an M&M. Um, dark chocolate enrobed JoJo's cookies. So that's kind of like their version of the Oreo and it's enrobed in chocolate, but it's in a little bite size. 
Okay, and milk and dark chocolate mini peanut butter cups. Now they have the regular peanut butter cups. You never see the mini except in this mix. So that's something I look forward to every year. Milk and dark uh, chocolate covered pretzels. Um, dark chocolate covered caramel pop popcorn. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and then it says we have chocolate that jingle jangle jingles when you, I'm not gonna sing it. <laughs> Well, when you share the tin. Anyway, there's a party of bite-sized, dark and milk chocolate covered, salty sweets inside every tin. Gather your friends, satisfy your chocolate cravings, and give it a jingle jangle. <laughs> so there you go. I love the jingle jangle. And as you know from my prior video, we got the jingle jangle pretzels that we're gonna try. But this is, we know what this tastes like. It's so good, but I might open it on the taste of just so I can show you guys. Um, all the stuff that's in there, but it's a fun party mix. I love putting it out. Um, it's gonna be great. My friends are gonna love it. Okay, this is our last bag for today. This has all our perishables and frozen and things like that. Okay, so let's start with, I got two of these. There's another one in here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. Here it goes. I like to keep them together. Um, the peppermint flavored bacon chips and uh, as you guys know, my friend Corey from Corey Meets World has his Magical Night of Hope uh, event coming up, his big concert with the auction. My contribution, as well as being um, the production staff behind the scenes, is to um, donate six homemade cookie boxes to the highest bidder in the auction. Uh, so there's going to be six separate little auction items of a cookie. Each one is one cookie box. And I'll make different varieties of cookies, and I'm gonna use these in the cookies. So I wonder what I'll make. You never know. But these are peppermint flavored bacon chips. So if you like peppermint, you like cookies, and you want to help give kids the world, bid on those. <laughs> okay. Then I just got, like I said, I didn't get too much fresh this time because we're not gonna be around. But I got some, um, of course, the baby broccoli, or as I call it, broccolini. I love this roasted, grilled so good um i just put a little olive oil uh, salt and pepper and um the sunny paris uh i believe it's called sunny paris uh spice mix uh that ptv my friends at pepper tree villa uh recommended and it's so good on the broccoli um yeah and i get that at Penzi spices it's really really good all right moving on i did get in case anyone gets hungry around here, which we never do because we have so much food. Oh, we've got uh, the cheddar cheese snacks, but Richard, these are a favorite for him. And maybe he can take some of these on the road with him while he's driving to Missouri. So, yeah, these are great because there's only a, um, how many are in here? We've got, yeah, 10 in a pack. So these are 20, 20 little cheese snacks in here. And uh, they're a nice little snack. They're sharp cheddar. Um, and each one has 80 calories and one gram of carbohydrate, so they're not that bad for you. And a good source of protein, so there you go. All right, what else did we get? We got Trader Joe's, now I have never tried this, but this is a Trader, jo Trader Joe's eggnog. <laughs> Sam is an eggnog connoisseur. She adores her eggnog. She's very, very picky about it. She will not drink the Southern Comfort brand. Even though it has no alcohol, she does not like that. She likes the T.G. Lee, the one they serve at um, Disney for the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. They sell it locally in our public store, so I have to go get it there. Um, I'm hopeful <laughs> that she'll like this one, but we'll see. This was only $2.99, and the T.G. Lee's is about $6.49. <laughs> so hopefully this is a hit. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> All right. So then we got the, I got milk and dark of the chocolate rondos. Now I have not had these. They put these out at holiday time. I didn't see them last year. Uh, this one's uh, caramelized pecan crunch. This one's strawberry and tart cherry. Now I love, I think I'm gonna love both of them, but um, the cashier was, when he saw them, he was like, oh, those are so and I'm like, oh, I cannot wait to try them. So we'll, we'll try these on the taste of and see what we think. All right. Now, oh, and I also got another kind of cheese snack. These are the sticks of the Colby, Colby Jack uh, cheese. So, yeah. And uh, let's see how many are in here. 
Uh, 12. There's 12 in here. So I only got one pack of these. And these are 90 calories. They're a little bit bigger because there's a stick. Um, but yeah, we like both of them. They're a nice little snack. A quick lunch even. Uh, we'll grab those when we haven't, you know, had time. And uh, that'll be our lunch. So. Oh, and then Sam got her uh, limeade again. Now, you guys know, I said, you know, I wonder how she's going to like it. Well, I tried a sip of it last time. So good. And Sam loved it so much. She got it again when she saw it. So this was like 259 something like that. I'm not really sure. But um, it was under $3 for this. And it's about a quart, I would say. And uh, good size. And she loves it. It's really good. All right, so then I got this um, chicken sausage and cheddar cheese breakfast bake, a savory bread pudding. So this will be a great uh, weekend breakfast. Uh, I think it'll heat up nicely and it looks really good. And it's 300 calories in a quarter of the, so there's four servings in this big box and 300 calories, which is not bad for a meal. Um, and 18 grams of carbohydrate, 16 grams of protein, which is good. And, um, well, 610 milligrams of sodium, which is on the cusp. It's not horrible, but I mean, it's sausage. So what do you expect? You, they need to preserve it with something. But yeah, it's chicken sausage. So that's why it's a little bit on the healthier side. And I'm, I'm excited to try this for breakfast and see uh, what Richard and Sam and I think. But I th I'm really hopeful that it's going to be really good. All right. What else do we have here? Oh, yeah, I had to have the, um, one of the uh, workers there find these for me because I couldn't find them. And I have a list every time I go in. I take pictures from the Trader Joe's site because it says what's it supposed to be in stock at everybody's store if you type in your location. And I couldn't find them, so she found them for me. These are shrimp pouches of many colors, festive shrimp dumplings. Now, how cute are those for the holidays? What a nice little appetizer. You get six dumplings in a serving for 240 calories. <laughs> it's like, wow. So yeah, I really wanted to try these. I don't know if we'll like them, but I'm gonna serve them with the um, uh, sweet chili sauce that we got last time, uh, cause we really loved that. We had some of our um, appetizers from Trader Joe's on Thanksgiving uh, to save some time and preparation. And everyone loved them, the little um, herbaceous cheese bites so good and with that uh, sweet thai chili sauce amazing and we had the little vegetable purses um from trader joe's and they too were excellent but even better like it just took it way over the top with that sweet chili sauce i'm not hoping the same thing happens with these uh shrimp dumplings so and they're so pretty for christmas and the holidays i just love them all right next we're getting to the bottom guys we're near the bottom the cashier was so jealous. <laughs> He's like, where did you find those? <laughs> he hadn't seen these. These are the chocolate batons, and you've got all different kinds of milk chocolate uh, from all over the world, uh, from Venezuela, Vietnam, and Peru. And um, I think there's like six bars in here, two from each uh, country. And that's gonna be just so fun to taste how different you know, the chocolates are and the qualities of chocolate are from the different countries. So we'll see how that is too. And that's gonna be fun. And they're nice little thin bars, um, which are, it's a single single origin. So it's not, you know, that's really processed well and, you know, not overly processed with all kinds of machinery and chemicals and all this other stuff. And it doesn't go from here to there and all over the place. It's right from Venezuela and Peru and Vietnam. It's processed there and then shipped here and that's it. <laughs> so you know where your chocolates come from. All right, so then, um, like I said, we're gonna be busy. So I wanted something I could do quickly. So I got a couple of things. I got this burrata, prosciutto, and arugula frat, frat bread? No, flat bread. We're not in college anymore, <laughs> flat bread. <laughs> and it looks so good. I think this is gonna be a great uh, on the go meal to just heat and serve. Um, and I'm really excited for that. Um, there's only 290 calories in a third of this, and it's pretty big. <laughs> so, and um, 12 grams of fat, uh, 670 milligrams of sodium, and 30 grams of carbohydrate, three grams of fiber, and 13 grams of protein. So really not that bad for you. And like I said, when you're on the go and you have to 
make something quick. This is better than grabbing like a burger or fast food or junk like that. So yeah. All right. And then we've got another quick meal. We've got beef and broccoli. I know Sam will not eat this, but she's going to be at the park sometime. So when she's at the parks, Richard and I will eat the beef and broccoli. She doesn't like the broccoli. She, she eats the beef. And um, I serve mine over cauliflower rice and Richard, I make regular rice for Richard, but I love this stuff. And it's only 230 calories in a serving. So you can't go wrong with that. A nice, healthy, fast meal. You just heat and serve. Everything's all ready to go. And um, I love stuff like this when you're just crunched for time, especially at this time of the year, because you go, go, go. And um, this makes it a little bit easier. All right, the last thing, this was Sam's request. Now, it's funny because, like I told you in the past, Sam generally does not like chocolate, but she saw this and said, we have to get it. It's the uh, Peppermint JoJo's, actually it's called Trader Joe's Candy Cane JoJo's Ice Cream, and it's made with candy cane JoJo's, which are chocolate cookies, <laughs> which is funny because she doesn't like chocolate generally. But she's gonna try this. She said she's gonna think she's gonna like it because not a lot of chocolate. It's a peppermint ice cream with the crushed peppermint JoJo's inside the ice cream. So I think it's gonna be a hit. And you know, the stats in here, it's ice cream. What are you gonna do? It, it is what it is. And it's not dairy free or anything like that. It's it's just regular good old ice cream for the holidays. But that is our haul for today. Now I'm gonna go. I was smart this time. See, it's cold today, so I have my leggings on, so I don't have a pocket to put my receipt in. But I did put it here on the fridge with a magnet. So, grand total for all of this flowers, case of water, all of this was $187.13, and I am not upset about that because I know everything I got is high quality. I'm gonna share it with my friend. It's gonna last, like I said, through the holiday season. And, um, you know, we go through, you know, the whole month of December and then Christmas and then New Year's. So this stuff's gonna be around um, for a while other than the perishables and the water and stuff. But yeah, so we're really happy and I, I think it was a great haul. But thank you everyone for joining me. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. If you stayed for the whole video, yay, thank you so much. I hope you found it informative and saw some products that you've either tried that are your favorites or that you want to try uh, to find at your Trader Joe's. Let me know in the comments what you have had and what your favorites are and what you are going to try to find. Um, if you have a Trader Joe's near you, um, we do have to drive, you know, 35 to 40 minutes to ours each way, but you know, once or twice a month, it's not that terrible. We make a morning of it. We go first thing in the morning, Sam and I, and, um, it's, it's like our mother daughter kind of thing that we do <laughs> and we have a good time, but, um, yeah, I hope you all, uh, stay well and have a wonderful Christmas and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and all kinds of whatever holiday you celebrate during this time of the year. Um, I hope you have a wonderful, peaceful, joyful, healthful holiday full of happiness and with everything that you could ever desire. Um, I appreciate all of your support and love. I love all of you and I appreciate all of you so much. Um, and I just, I love you guys. <laughs> But um, keep an eye out for my next vlog or premiere or short or whatever I'm going to do or go live. You never know. Um, and like I said, keep an eye on the cookie auction. If you want some of my fresh baked cookies shipped to you, bid on the auctions. Give kids the world. Magical Night of Hope. And um, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, please. If you did not like the video, you don't have to do a darn thing. You can just like put it out of your mind and forget you ever saw me and just go. <laughs> be fine no one cares <laughs> but thanks again everyone and like I said have a wonderful holiday season I know I'll be putting more videos out soon uh, we've got the taste of the holidays coming soon so keep an eye out for that make sure your notification bells click to all so you know when all of that's coming your way all right to you guys take care and I will see you in the next video bye